Good morning, everybody. Welcome to today's devotion for October 7th. Today's devotion is titled Current Battles. And the Bible reading is from Philippians chapter 3, verses 12 to 16, and chapter 4, verses 1 to 2. I am trying to record with a microphone today, a separate microphone, so we'll see if uh, it's something that I like or not. (laughs) All right. Not that I have already obtained all of this or have already arrived at my goal, but I press on to take hold of that for which Christ Jesus took hold of me. Brothers and sisters, I do not consider myself yet to have taken hold of it, but one thing I do forgetting what is behind and straining toward what is ahead. I press on toward the goal to win the prize for which God has called me heavenward in Christ Jesus. All of us then who are mature should take such a view of things and if on some point you think differently, that to God will make clear to you no, that's not how you read that. <laughs> and, if, and if on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. Punctuation is very important. Only let us live up to what we have already attained. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, you whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, Stand firm in the Lord in this way, dear friends. I plead with you, Euodia, and I plead with Syntyk to be the same mind, to be of the same mind in the Lord. When you plug in your toaster, You benefit from the results of a bitter feud from the late 19th century. Back then, inventors Thomas Edison and Nikola Tesla battled over which was the best kind of electricity for development. Direct current, like the current that goes from a battery to a flashlight, or alternating current, which we get from an electrical outlet. Eventually, Tesla's AC ideas powered through and have been used to provide electricity for homes, businesses, and communities around the world. AC is much more efficient at sending electricity across great distances and proved to be the wiser choice. Sometimes we need wisdom as we face issues of concern between believers in Jesus. The Apostle Paul called us to seek God's help for clarity in such matters. He said, If on some point you think differently, that too God will make clear to you. A few verses later, we see the results of two people who let a difference divide them, a conflict that grieved Paul. I plead with you, don't, I can't speak, I plead with Euodia, and I plead with Syntyk, to be of the same mind in the Lord. Whenever a disagreement starts to tear us apart, may we seek God's grace and wisdom in the scriptures, the counsel of mature believers, and power of prayer. Let's strive to be of the same mind in Him. How can you apply God's grace and wisdom to a current battle of personal preferences? Why is prayer vital as you face this conflict? Thank you for joining me for today's devotion, and I hope you all have a wonderful day. And let me know down in the comments whether or not you liked it with the microphone or if you prefer it without. (laughs) Have a good day, everybody.